Right over here is a big cactus, the classic cactus. Desert is full of these kind of bushes called creosote bushes. And they ha get yellow flowers and then they have, uh, it changes into pussy willow type of buds. But this entire area of the desert is full of those kind of plants. And you can see the ground is a very gravelly type mixture. With a lot of rock content. At the base of the mountains is land owned by the bulldozer company who has used it in the past to test out their tractors and their bulldozers. And that's one spot where they would go with the tractors is right up that trail. Here I am at the base of one of those creosote plants and I happen to find this little hole. Which I would imagine some sort of a creature lives there. Here's a close-up of that cactus. You zoom Here, right in. Us perspective how big it is. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mark's going to move in and give you an idea just how big this cactus is. It's about three times as tall as Mark, well, four times with the tallest centerpiece. Mark, what would have made that hole in there? Probably a cactus wren. A cactus wren. They live inside of them. They live inside of them, he says. Hey, you'll see some of the junk that what Mark says is a lot of people from Phoenix come with their four-wheel drives and they just come and dump out here in the desert. Phoenix is about a half an hour away. And then a lot of people do target shooting out here. gets to be quite a mess. This is where when it rains heavily it turns into a river. This is on the other side of the road and it flows right down. And then heads into a pond area which is where we're heading. And here are these trees called salt cedar trees. They, Mark says they were imported from the Middle East somewhere and they're very drought tolerant and they've really flourished and taken over here in this area. He says they can grow to be up to 100 feet tall. And we'll swing around and you'll be able to see how many there are. That's where we came from up there. 